name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and today we're going to cover something that I've been itching to have a go at for quite a while and there's a guy called James who knows exactly how long this has been going on for. <laughs> we got there James finally. So uh, this video is about how um, visual demonstrations can be extremely misleading and powerfully misleading. Um, and how people like to talk shit just for the sake of it. So, <laughs> what I have here is uh, something that was in the video quite a while back, which was is a BMW 450 cylinder. And what I've got here is some toluene, which is this stuff. I'm going to give this a clean while I chat away. And uh, the whole purpose of this is to demonstrate how visual demos can um, basically fuck you over, quite nicely fuck you over, and make you believe something that is not entirely true or is quite inaccurate. Now, I'm going to do quite a few of these videos um, because there's quite a few culprits, especially on YouTube. Um, two things happen. They either give you a, a visual demonstration to back up their argument, which is wrong, or they're not thinking of all of the aspects that it involves, or um, they are doing an experiment or something and they don't, they either haven't tested what they think they were testing, other variables are involved, or they've misinterpreted the results of what they've seen. To that end, um, Sometimes it's malicious, sometimes it's not. Um, and I'll kind of make it clear uh, which ones are which when we get through them. So, what I need is some oil. So this is some 80W90. Um, now this isn't really what goes, obviously isn't goes in your engine, so I have to make that very clear. Um, my point is not, I'm not reproducing reproducing an experiment here just to prove that this is oil the reason why i'm using this is because this is brand new as you can see and it fucking ripped its guts out and i'll get an extra little jug put some oil in there like that we can put that to one side fan dabby dozy so the visual demonstration in question is this one so jason from engineering explained is trying to make a point um, that cold starting engines, oil, blah, 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 that's my cleaning rag. So I'll put that to one side. This is my oily one. So what we're going to do is going to dip my oil in here, coat this cylinder, and imagine that this has been coated with oil uh, from our oil control rings and all that jazz. Now in his demo, I think, off the top of my head, it doesn't really matter, it's not what's important. Um, I think in his demo, the piston is at the bottom. Don't really need to do that. This is a knackered damage cylinder, by the way. And uh, let's just make sure we get enough in there, and all the horn marks and stuff and all that jazz. So, to demonstrate that cold engines are washing your cylinders clean, what our Jason does is he goes and gets some kitchen roll. <laughs> so our Jason grabs some kitchen roll. Now we've got some kitchen roll, but it's got a pattern all over it, and it didn't look too good when I tried this the first time. So I've just gone and grabbed some toilet roll, just so it's nice and white. Now without wiping this, without doing anything, we're just going to wipe this down. As you can see. There's not much you can see oil wise. It's fucking hardly there. Yeah, you can just get some oil. So even without touching it with any solvent, we're not really getting a good result. Most of this is probably shit off the cylinder because it's a used cylinder. So what we're going to do is clean that and add another go. because straight away, are we picking up dirt or are we just wiping a clean cylinder? So we don't really know 
what we're even looking for because there isn't a before and after so let's give it another go with some fresh oil get some fresh oil in there really lap the shit on let's see if we can get a mark now I know what you're thinking you might be thinking to yourself oh fucking hell if that's it that's pedantic one testing is pedantic sometimes but number two is no this isn't the point but let's just you've got to go through the motions to see what you get so we get a clean bit wipe our cylinder and there is some yellowing there right so we can say all right fair enough we'll say that if we can see oil that's been cleaned off by our solvent give our oil a mix if our solvent is going to wipe our cylinders clean, we should be able to see it. So, fair test. Let's get some more oil. Let's really just fucking lube it on there. Um, just so we get that colour. Now, you can use different coloured oils and stuff. You know, there's like, a lot of the mortal products and stuff are... Um, or yellow, green you know red some of them so i'm also using this which is uh, 80w90 just to you know this is the thickest oil to help it stick and so we see something some people might argue the other way well it's not the oil used that's granted but like i say that's not the point of this what the point of this is is that jason comes in with his solvent and sprays his cylinder now I'm using what's in here, which is mystery, mystery colour number six. <laughs> and I'm letting it run round this cylinder. All right. So there we have it. And then we get a bit of bog roll like before, right where we blasted it. Give it a wipe. Now we're going to see red, but you can see there's no yellow there. If this was a clear solvent, we would see, I can't see any yellow in that, that's just all red, right? It is literally, it's a solvent for oil. It's wiped it off, it's basically, it's all run out, it's all gone clear and fucked off, right? So, if we were to repeat this like Jason did, we would see it clean, Look, you know, it's gone from kind of yellowy to a bloody red, it's not yellowy, we've cleaned it all off. And you think, holy shit, look at that, that fuel spray, that has just hit that cylinder, right, has just fucked off all the oil. That makes sense. That's a visual demo that makes sense. But there are some negative consequences of injecting extra fuel. Gasoline is a solvent, so as you can see, when extra fuel gets on the cylinder walls, it washes away the oil from the cylinders and the pistons. Less oil on the cylinder walls means less protection, and because the oil is cold, it makes it harder for it to be replaced. This means the longer you spend with your engine cold, the more wear you'll have. But is it? So, what I'm going to do is I have, just so you can see, I've got nine there, a group of nine, and one more, ten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill all these with the mystery pink fluid number 17, or six, or whatever the fuck I said it was. They've done studies, you know. Right then, so what you can see is that there's 10 of these and all 10 of these have been filled with this bottle. Now this bottle is a WD-40 bottle that I James sent me, he's actually sent me two from America. If you actually look at this half of the bottle, you can see that this is the same bottle that Jason used. You can tell by the ribbon on the neck and blah blah blah, and this bit here. So he's using a WD-40 bottle. In here is Red X, just so we can get, you can see that colour. They also, the reason why I use Red X is because Red X is basically just fuel. Yeah, it's toluene, xylene, it's all the shit that they put in fuel, all the additives basically. It's like an additives package that you already have in fuels. Regardless, and we'll get to Red X, that's a totally different video and stuff like that. But basically this is a solvent and it's very much the viscosity and so on of the fuel. Now... Back in my drug dealing days, we've got one of these little scale jobbies. These cups are very, very similar in mass. Um, so if I uh, zero that, 
we can see that each one of these where's one let's write this down actually very very quickly we've got 1.12 1.13. Just as a little side note, if you're drug dealing in scales this big, you're not really a drug dealer, are you really? Let's be honest. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so why have I written all these down and why do we do this? We want to see, or well, you can't really see, it's 1.15, 1.1, that's 1.13. Actually rub that one out and that one out. Put that towards the top. 1.13 and 1.15. So you can see that basically 1.13 grams is basically what this this gun is sticking out, right? But if we actually work this out, so this is a um, oh, it's a BMW uh, G something. <laughs> Can't fucking G. Is it a G? It's a G. So it's a BMW G E. I think it's a GE 450, but precisely it's 449cc, all right? And that's 0 0.449 litres, all right? So how much does air weigh? This is, for all intents and purposes, half a litre. Air is approximately uh, one, oh, it's 1.224 litres. Um, grams per liter. That's the one in it. Yeah, it's 1.4, 1.224 grams per liter. Which we're already looking at these numbers here. You know what I mean? But we're doing about half a liter. We can half this, and 449 is actually um, 0 0.5. Four nine five seven six uh, grams. All right, that's how much that the displacement of that cylinder actually weighs at four four nine. So if we get rid of that, oh fucking, that's got oil on it. Wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> get the solvent one. There we go. It just cleans up your oil, no problem. All right, so there, like that. All right. Once we wipe out all this shit, like that. Out of our 449cc, our air weighs 0 0.45, blah, 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 blah. Half a gram, right? Half a gram. And at 10 to 1, just say 10 to 1, really fucking rich. At 10 to 1, it'd be 0 0.05 grams of fuel. Right? And that is exceedingly rich at 10 to 1, right, for startup. So 0 0.05 of a gram. Well, that's fuck all. Can we even do that on here? It does say it has a resolution of 0 0.01 grams. So if we turn this on, I have poured out most of this. So if we stick one of these tubs on and zero that out there like that, and then put this on, see that's 0 0.2. Oh, you can't see this very well. So let's do this again, right? So we'll zero that out just so it's balanced. We'll put an empty one on and we zero that out. And we take that off and we put this, this is the, you can see there's just a bit of dregs in there. That is 0 0.18. So can we get all of that out? Well, let me make sure it's clean on the outside so I'm not dribbling anywhere. What's that? Right, so that's 0 0.1. So half of that. Let's see if we can get some more of that out. A bit less than that. A bit less than that. No, a bit less than that. <laughs> Oh, there we are, and that's close enough for me. Right, so 10 to 1. This is what is squirting in. I'll see if I can do the comparison straight down below. So that's it.
this is what Jason's spraying in, and this is what actually goes into your cylinder. You've got to remember, this is 100% volumetric efficiency, which idle, it's more like 20, so it's not even this. It is fuck all because it's a vapour. It is a vapour. And this is the thing. Then it says, oh, fuck it, do you know what? It's best off to stick your engine into gear and start using it, which increases it, not nowhere near this, fuck's sake. But you are putting load on your engine and actually adding more fuel by increasing the revs. Yes, yeah, sure, it'll heat up quicker. But load and resist, well, re load is resistance, and fuel and... Uh, it is a null argument, and that is a... The difference between these is fucking insane, right? Let's actually, let's do that as a demo. Uh, so Jason's, let's drip that everywhere. Probably that <laughs> is what's actually, what's actually been used. And this, right. That, you can see the difference between the two. This is actually dark, right? This is dark and soaked through. Eh, good luck with that. You know what I mean? It, it's not even funny. You can see when extra fuel gets on the cylinder walls. Dripping with autism. So there you have it. This will wash off the oil. A bit of better pointer. This will wash off the oil off your cylinder. Obviously, look how fucking much there is. There's nearly as much as the bloody oil. This on the other hand, with most of it in suspension and then burning. No, 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 no. When we say fuel condenses, we're talking on the microscopic level here. We're not talking fucking, well, that looks like a, a sanitary towel, doesn't it? And that looks like, I don't know, bloody shaving cut. You know, it, it it's just, it's just not, it's, we're an order of magnitude out, you know what I mean, easily. It is not even, it's not comparable, right? So that's what I mean by the, the power of visual demonstrations. But do the visual demonstrations actually match the reality of what's going on? In this case, no. And we've got that. We've even, you know, it's even passing on to people like that bloody twat from Urge to Ride and stuff like that. Oh, well, yeah, you look at this demo or whatever, or the, the fuel washes the oil off the cylinders. What happens every intake stroke? Every intake stroke. Every intake stroke. With this amount of fuel, get the fuck out of here. Oh. <laughs> I do have fun doing this, you know what I mean? You know, but this, this sanitary towel here, this can clean cylinders, yeah, so they're absolutely bone dry and take all the oil off them. Like, meh. This, it's fucking practically dry. It's evaporating right now, you know what I mean? That, nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually taking more of the bloody old, this shit off it. You know what I mean? So there you have it. Just be, when you watch visual demonstrations, just ask yourself, is that really the amount, or is that really the thing, or is that really what's going on? Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.